January 15, Voices of Failure I waited patiently for the Lord, and He inclined unto me. He brought me up also out of horrible pit, and set my feet upon a rock, and established my goings. And He hath put a new song in my mouth, even praise unto our God. Many shall see it, and fear, and shall trust in the Lord. Psalms chapter 40 verses 1 to 3 King James Version Have you ever heard voices of failures? When you fail, voices whisper in your ear and you listen to them. Somehow, at one point or another in our lives, failure finds us. At my hotel, after my first sermon opening an evangelistic campaign in Managua, Nicaragua, I kept telling myself, Raquel, you failed badly. I went to bed miserable. Books that address how to succeed in life are everywhere. But you look a long time before you find a book entitled, How to Succeed While Failing. This is a difficult topic to discuss, or nobody has anything to say. But God does. A careful look at the Bible reveals that most great characters from Scripture experience failures. David had a moral failure, yet God used him. Elijah had an emotional breakdown after Mount Carmel, but God restored him. Peter in spite of his self-confidence and great pride, denied Jesus. Perfect people? No. Yet, God used them. Sometimes, God allows us to fail before He enables us to succeed. If we learn from them, our failures are often the beginning of growth. So, after a long night talking to the Lord in my hotel room, I received strength for the next day. The church was packed that night and I preached again, confident that God was in control. As soon as I finished, an old man came toward me and said, Raquel, thank you for your beautiful message yesterday. My son was listening on the radio while I was here. He is here with me today and decided to give his heart to Jesus. I looked at both of them, speechless and grateful. I just hugged the young man and told him, The message yesterday was just for you. If you are starting your day thinking about yesterday's failure, I have good news. God can use failures and He can use you. Today is the day to sing a new song and to leave the voices of failure behind as we embrace a new day full of new mercies. Why? Because in all things, we are more than conquerors through Him who loved us. Romans chapter 8 verse 37, New International Version Raquel Arise